Hey, skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate at Sugar Roller Skates. And I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to talk to you about how you can help your poor friend who can't roller skate. Today's video is brought to you by Blood and Thunder. You can get all of their amazing skating apparel at bloodandthundermag.com. Look at this fine shirt because life is better on roller skates. Uh, promo code DIRTY20, that'll save you some money, honey. All right, let's get started with today's video about helping your friend who can't roller skate. All right, skaters, so we've all been there, right? You have a friend that wants to skate. They're asking you, maybe you asking them, and you want them to come skating with you, and they can't skate. I mean, they cannot skate. And you're like, how do I be a helpful person? Well, I'm gonna show you how. Hopefully a couple of these tips and tricks here will help you get you and your friend rolling. So I need a friend, you know, a friend who, who can't skate, all right? Come here, Peter. You guys, I just met Peter, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no joke, no joke. I just met Peter like three days ago, am I right? Yep. Okay, so Peter's out here skating around with his white skates on, you know. He's doing tricks that he's not even, were you trying to do those tricks? I mean, you know, they happened. <laughs> So, you know, it doesn't really matter the intention. Right. A lot of these things were accidents and then accidentally successful, I feel yeah. like. You know, you rolled the dice enough times, sometimes they land on the right side. Right. How long have you been skating? Uh, gosh, maybe a few weeks now. Right. So he's a few weeks into his journey. And so I asked him, hey, you want to be in this video? Because we're going to, you know, help people who don't know how to skate. Yeah, that's, I, I think I fit the criteria for that. Right! Okay, so here, you guys, when you have someone who's just beginning their journey in skating, oftentimes people want to help them and they do this one thing. Most of the time when people want to skate, they're like, here, let me help you. And then we start trying to skate around and you're having challenges and I'm like trying to give you instruction. And I'm like, do this, do that. You guys. That is not good for either one of us. You know why? Because usually when you grab someone's hand, they start, the number one thing is they will transfer all of their self-doubt, <laughs> their anxiety and everything, and they start putting it into you, the person who's supposed to be the stable one, through like an, an excessive hand-holding situation, like grip it. It's like this, they're like, ah, and you're like trying to, Sorry. Yeah. So, like they're really, really over gripping. Mm -hmm. Okay. The thing that about this, what is dangerous is wherever he starts getting off balance, I'm trying to counterbalance that. And that's not teaching him how to skate and is not being helpful really at all. Here's the number one way I help people without holding hands with them. Okay. What I like to do is simply one of two things. I either put my arm out like this, okay? You can put your hand right there. And then I skate with them. We're gonna skate forward together. I skate with them like this, okay? I'm letting them do their own thing, kind of, okay? But they have my direct arm here in a, in a like I kind of tighten up the muscles here. So they feel like they have something to balance off of. Okay, I am not helping them at all, really. I'm just giving them something to place their hand on so they can feel more balance. Now, if Peter were to get really off balance and he started to go down, like let's say, I would just go down with him like this. I mean, I ain't doing that. But, but listen, what you don't want to do as the helper is try to save. And Peter, how tall are you, Peter? Uh, maybe about six feet or yeah, so. Yeah, he's like six feet or so. I'm not six feet or so. So if he's going down, I don't want him taking me down too. I'm simply like this. If I see he starts going down, I just start to drop low, all right? Just matching there. And if he goes down, he goes down. That's just, that's just the way it goes. The other thing I don't want to see you guys do is this. I don't want to see here, stand over here for me, Peter. If someone's skating forward, I don't want to see this. You skating backwards, them skating forward. It, this doesn't do anything for this person. This person is now in this weird hunched situation, okay? 
if they start to go down, anything can happen. He can go back, fall backwards, forward, and now I'm all involved in this. I don't want to be involved in that. Again, here's another possible way that you can assist them without being overboard. Okay, I like to go like this. I give one flat hand here and one flat hand here. You start skating forward and I'm just like this, okay? Flat hands. Listen, I'm not into getting grippy, okay? There we go. I'm just, I feel like I'm just presenting. I'm just like, and here's Peter, the new skater. Look at this, just me presenting. Another thing, skate forward for me, Peter. Another thing you don't wanna do, if you're helping a new skater, you don't wanna be behind them. This danger, danger, Will Robinson. You do not want to be behind them. You want to skate alongside. I'm either giving them this kind of situation or I'm being, I feel like this is, I'm just escorting here, you know, right? <laughs> this is good. Right, right? And we look good. Yeah. Okay. Here's another way that you can help a skater that is kind of fun and will be something that you can add to your repertoire. If we stand right next to each other and we're gonna basically couple skate together, we're gonna go like this. You're gonna take your inside hand, Peter, and you're gonna slap me in the gut. <laughs> That's right. And then we're gonna take our outside hand and shake hands. Okay, now I can tell him, okay, lean this way. Now lean this way, lean this way, lean this way. I am with my hands, I'm pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing. He can kind of balance on my arm here. Does that feel this good? pretty cool. Yeah, this is nice. So we can do something nice together. Now, the biggest challenge that people have is with the foot, right? You're like, oh my gosh, they're gonna trip me, I'm gonna trip them. I try to be very minimal in my foot movements, okay? I'm not doing any big push outs. I look down to make sure he's not, but as we long as we go, ready, go left, right, left, right. Now we bend our knees. There we go, baby. This is cool. <laughs> right? Ooh, look at us all Ooh. professional. Now, I ain't gonna lie. If Peter starts going down, I'm gonna drop him. <laughs> it's okay, wouldn't be my first time. If he starts going down, really, as the helper, you really cannot save someone. If they start falling, if they get off balance, you, the best thing you can do is bend your knees and get down low, and more than likely, they will follow suit. So let's talk about it. Inevitably, Peter's going to fall down on the ground. Peter's going to fall down on the ground. There we go. Peter is going to be drama about it because, and then Peter's going to realize, I cannot marinate in the fall. No, I have to get up. Life goes on. Peter goes on. He gets on his knees. Okay, but he's right there. He's on both knees. Both knees. Okay, and he, he's looking up into his future and he's like, I can probably live to skate again. <laughs> Yes, all I have to do is get up. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna help him get up by not helping him, okay? You're gonna put one knee, one foot up, one foot up, just like that. I will stand on the side where the knee is up. I'm gonna do one flat hand here. I'm gonna do one flat hand underneath the elbow and I'm gonna bear down like this. I'm gonna be all, get up, Peter. He's gonna lean down here, lean on me. All right. Lean on me, right? And up you go, okay. Peter, he falls again. He does not marinate in the fall. He thinks to himself, up, 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 up. He gets on a knee, right? Now, when I go to help him again, our usual mindset is to grab the person's arm, however we do it, and lift them up like this. This is not good. Peter's six feet tall. This is not gonna work. I'm also gonna rip out his rotator cuff, okay? We can't do that. Again, I am like flat, flat, and I go, get up, Peter, and Peter can get up, okay? I promise you, try this with your friends. It works with everybody, especially because a lot of times when people fall, what are you thinking? Oh my God, my life is over. Why does anybody just... see me? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Most of the time, Peter is right. Most of the time you guys are down here and you're like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Did anyone see me? Are they having thoughts and feelings about me? Now, Peter, let me just get down here and tell you a little secret. No one cares that you fell. They're just happy they didn't fall. Okay. <laughs> or that you didn't take them down with them. Okay. 
That's all it is. Okay, up you go. All right, so assistance, and we're up. All right, you guys. So that's just a few ways that you can help your friend learn to be an, a better skater and also patience, right? You gotta have patience with your new friend as they're learning how to skate. New friend needs to have, I think like you do, because I only met Peter a couple days ago. He has the best attitude. The oh, best thank you. attitude. Oh. Best attitude. Right back at you. Well, thank you. I think we should do a follow-up uh, video in six months and yeah. see how good you are. Let's check the progression. <laughs> You've got potential. Owe it to the best teacher. Oh, please. He's got potential. All right, you guys. We got to go because they're about to open up the rink, and we have overplayed our stay, okay? You guys know what you need to do. Do you know what you need to do? I think I do. What is that? Uh, When I fall, get back up. That's find just a good. good. That's good, and you need to... Oh, well, and practice. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got to go. Go practice.